Morning, y'all. Uh, I'm recording this from uh, coming to you from the rooftop of Whole Foods in downtown Austin. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Um, and I want to talk with you a little bit this morning about how your desires can make you vulnerable, uh, not to scare you necessarily, more so to prepare you just to kind of be aware of it. So, and by this, I mean any of your desires. Uh, it's easy to think that only having huge, grand dreams of wealth and success and how only that can open you up to a bunch of judgment, uh, critique, uh, self-doubt. Um, but that's not, really not the case. Even dreaming of a simpler life, um, more focused life, um, can come with these, these obstacles. It will come with these obstacles. Uh, so maybe you've been following some of my advice and uh, maybe you're striving to sort of get a little more inner peace. Um, it's important to realize that, you know, even on this path, you won't be uh, free from obstruction trying to get there. Um, so think about the life that you've constructed and the complexity you've built into that life. Um, you may rely heavily on some of that complexity and you know, you're comfortable with it. Um, maybe it keeps you busy or keeps you feeling connected or you're preoccupied um, with some of your thoughts so you don't have to worry about other sorts of thoughts. Uh, you've grown, again, comfortable with it. So you may have a pattern of behavior that brings you a lot of recognition, for example, um, but it's not in the best interest of simplifying. So it might be a struggle to give up that behavior or that pattern. I can give you an example uh, from my own life. So I try to strive to have a narrow focus um, in my career as much as possible. Um, you know, having 10 things going on at once um, isn't productive for me because it prevents me from giving the most important thing the attention that it deserves. That said, I also know that I have you know, dozens of people who rely on me in some way, um, whether that's for project direction, uh, mentorship needs, uh, big picture context, uh, budgeting, recruiting, etc. <clears throat> I hate letting those people down. Um, and beyond that, it could actually be a huge risk uh, to them, for, to me, uh, to a project or to the company uh, if they don't get what they need. So for me, figuring out how to truly prioritize and communicate clearly what isn't done um, and what isn't going to get done is something I really struggle with. But, you know, I'm aware of it and working on it. Um, so that's really the first step is, is becoming aware of that. So maybe in your case, you worry that your friends or your spouse are maybe attracted to professional achievements, but you're miserable. So you have a difficult time disconnecting your day-to-day -day well-being from you know, what puts you on that pedestal. So getting from where you are now to a, a simpler mindset in life uh, is going to come ripe with obstacles and distractions and complications, uh, both internally, as I described, as well as externally. So you need to learn to ignore the distractions, acknowledge that there are complications, and use those obstacles to become even more focused uh, on your goal of simplifying. If you focus only on the purity of your actions, which I'll get to in a minute, and not you know what the response to those actions means, uh, I promise you'll sleep a little better at night. So in the end, it all comes back to control. You know, what can you control? It's your thoughts, your perceptions, and your actions. So going into your thoughts, which drives your desires and your goals, is what you desire and those goals you set, are they a product of your own making? Or are you parroting the desires of others, taking things that other people want and making those yours? To get clear on the why of what it is that you want and rid yourself of the need for external validation of your desires and goals because you'll know that when you seek what it is you truly want, you'll act in accordance with your true nature in here and you'll be doing the right thing. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have a great week.